Morning everybody, it is 6.45 and I'm on my way to F45. Um, I thought I'd do a bit of a, a vlog for you guys since I haven't done one in how long, like two months build ups. I was probably like, oh yeah, I'm starting a YouTube channel and then like left you guys hand for a good two, three months. Sorry about that, but things have been pretty full on with traveling up and down the country with a newborn and yeah, it's been pretty crazy. So now that we're settled in Taranaki for a bit, I've had a week to really suss out and feel like I'm in a routine or start a routine of some sort, what even is a routine with newborns anyway, or a baby. Um, so I've been hitting F45 for a good week now and I'm keen. Um, for all those that wanna join up, join up. I would love a gym buddy. Let's just go get it. I always knew that I was gonna get back into F45 after Pepe and because of my postpartum hemorrhage uh, my midwife said to wait um, was it 12 weeks instead of six weeks um, post baby to start working out so it's 11 weeks but well 10 when I started but um, I feel good and I know my body quite well so I could feel that you know my body was ready but also I was very very wary that I was just jumping into E45 which for those that have done it is pretty intense and it's like hit sessions and yeah so my body has sort of handled it quite well the first two days were shocking I like was so sore but I'm keen to get back into it and it is 6.50 my class is at 6.55 I need some motivation. Romans today, for those of you that are doing Romans with me, let's go get it!
Thailand, India. Um, if you guys are in Taranaki, come down to New Plymouth, F45. Yeah, yep. seven day trial, yep. seven bucks. Yep. Wicked. Cool. Awesome. Just finished F45, Romans. Yeah, I'm finding the sessions really tough. I think it's frustrating because when I last did F45, I was like 20 weeks pregnant. But before I got pregnant, um, I used to pull a lot more weight. I used to be able to um, last a lot longer on the reps. And yeah, but I guess it all comes down to your mental drive. Like I've always had a really good mental drive. <laughs> myself a little bit but um and i guess that's just comes down to consistency yeah but what i'm not so good at is you know keeping with it you know for a good what three months is this postpartum journey that i'm going on so really really eager to get back into it i mean it's been um first week down <clears throat> Um, definitely not as strong as what I used to be, but that's all good. I haven't worked out for a good seven months because post baby, oh, during my pregnancy, I had um, inflammatory pelvic pain, which made it really difficult to work out, do anything. So I didn't want to put any stress on my body and just, you know what, soak it up. I'm pregnant, just relax and just go for walks and stuff. But I was working a lot and on my feet every day. So that was kind of my fitness. <laughs> But yeah, now we're at my local coffee shop. Oh, what Yes, you do, you're too much old. Jokes. Thanks, what? I love it. 
Bye. 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 Traveling with a baby, honestly, you can never do it light. We've traveled so much since Kawariki's been born in the car. We haven't flown yet, don't really want to fly. Um, but we literally are only going to Wellington for like three days. But we've got the kitchen sink, we've got the bathtub, we've got his cot, we've got his play gym. I mean, we've got everything, and I've got like one tiny bag. Woo! All right. Let's go hit the road. You ready, son? Yeah. Let's go. Who else can relate? So we've made it to Wellington. Yay! Kawariki slept the whole way didn't even wake it was like four and a half hours so he he's hungry i know it um so yeah we can't wait to see out of here she's been picked up from kura at the moment no one's home so i know everyone's excited to see kawariki um so yeah Hi. Hi, Daisy Me. Hi. Are you with Big Sissy? Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Just like a wee hand away. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> 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 what are we doing this morning? Yeah, I I'm just dropping out of here off to Kura. Well, it's Friday, isn't it? Out of here. So last day, then it's the weekend. Can chill out, relax, with Mama. <laughs> So just drop out of here off at Kura and now I'm just up the road at my local cafe Parsons they make the best coffee caramel latte almond milk is my go-to trying to cut back on all dairy not having dairy because if you didn't know I'm trying to get rid of my belly flat flap <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of my belly fat and pretty much 90% of getting rid of belly flat, flat, oh, far out, fat is diet, if you don't know. So she's cutting back on sugar, but also cardio. So you can sit there and do 100 crunches, but it's not going to get rid of your belly flat. Flat, flat, fat. Oh my gosh. Fat. It's not going to get rid of your belly fat. Diet is. So... I'm gonna change that. So first up, just around the corner is my local doctors that I go to. And I'm gonna see my doctor to talk about contraceptive because I have to talk about that now. Have to go all back on that shit because my breast milk is coming down a little bit and those of you that don't know it's breastfeeding as a form of contraceptive. So I've been using that. But now that we're weaning off, we wanna be just extra careful and all that, you know, good stuff because we don't want any more babies 
just yet. Um, but Shawnee wants six kids, and I don't know how I'm gonna manage a career raising six kids while he's, you know, doing his mahi and traveling the world and doing all that good stuff. But we'll get there if anything's possible. So yeah, I'm going to the doctors to talk about um, contraceptive, and then um, after that, I'm going to see Jordy. For those of you <clears throat> that don't know Jordy, she is my hairdresser, and she <laughs> there's just like people in the background walking around like little minions. Um, she is my hairdresser. She's amazing. Her by Jordy. If you guys don't follow me and you haven't seen my posts, she has her own business and it is booming. I've been going to her for like probably like five years like she and she's a close family friend of ours so you'll be able to tag along with me there uh, and then after that I've got an appointment with Dermalogica um, for those of you that don't know I use their skincare range I used them before I got pregnant um, a bit but this time I've been using for it past two months and yeah wow loving it so we're gonna go there and have a chat to them about well i'm getting a 60 minute facial i think it is um so i'm excited to get that because all mamas need to treat themselves and get on to that but yeah so going to see dermalogica at two today i won't bring you into the doctors just because yeah because of patient confidentiality and all that good stuff uh but i will see you guys when we go see geordie Oh, look at that. Look at that shimmer and shine. And saying that, don't you ever feel like when you get your hair done, you walk out of the hair salon and you're like, fuck, I feel like, I mean, if I feel like a million bucks, like I feel like I, now I just want to go out and party or go out to an event. But no, this mum life. Um, but in all seriousness, it does make you want to just go out and do something doesn't it when you get your hair done seems a bit of a waste but all good oh my god and the next appointment is so awkward i'm recording on the main street of lambton key a little awkward like i've got a group in front of me like looking at me like what the fuck is she doing i'm vlogging 
Have you ever heard of it? They walk him past now. I'm, I don't think I'm cut up for this vlog life. I just, I freaking hate it when people stare. I'm always like, what? Anyway, so we're off. Oh, shit. Now I'm off to my appointment with Dermalogica. Now I'm going to the Old Bank Arcade. In there um, is a new open beauty clinic, I think. It's called Skintopia and apparently it's really amazing. Um, so I'm going there to get um, a 60 minute skin treatment by Dermalogica, like a facial. So that should be really good and um, I'm really excited. I think I've only had like two facials in my life and the, like honestly they're life changing. Um, so if you're a mama and you, you know, get once, like one every three months or whatever, it's definitely worth it because wow like you just feel rejuvenated and so good so um i'm on my way there to do that i'll vlog while we're in there as well um just so you guys can see um yeah i'm really excited yay all right well i'll see you guys in there I would use this as like a weekend one. Okay. So if you wanted to kind of um, yes. a cap oh, break from makeup, but yeah, you still wanted something. Yeah. Something. And it's got SPF in it. <coughs> so we're off. Where are we going out of here? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Yay. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You're ready, all right. <laughs> nice one, baby. All right, we're out. Let's go. Baby, hey, hey, Dee, hey, <laughs>
Take care, baby. Yeah. Whatever you got there. <laughs> no, put that back. So we're just on our way back up to Taranaki. We're in Hawera, so we've done a good three, three and a half hours of driving. We just pulled to the side of the road because this little man piped up and wanted a feed and a change, eh? So yeah, this morning, Arahi and me went to breakfast and then we went to the mall and had a bit of mummy and daughter time, which was really nice. And then she got picked up. Hey. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions asking, you know, why does not Arahia live with you, Shawnee and Kawariki? And um, in some ways, I don't owe anybody an explanation to the decision or the arrangement that our whanau have made. I want to be real about our situation, but then I know at the same time, you know, I have whanau in my ear going, you know, you don't owe, any owe anyone an explanation. All that matters is that Arahia is happy. True very true she's very happy with where she is too happy I might add <laughs> so last year uh, when I fell pregnant with Kawariki we had a big whanau hui about um, Arahia and the decision you know whether or not to take her to Hamilton with me or to leave her in Wellington um, the decision wasn't easy at all and I feel like you know it can easily look so easy oh she just left her in Wellington but no like there has been a lot of build up there's had been a lot of um you know discussion with our whanau about that decision and you know I don't want anyone to feel like it was the easiest decision it 100% wasn't and there's been a lot of tears shed at the end of the day this is the best decision for her and I think as a parent you have to make these selfless decisions and it you know I never thought oh my gosh oh baby I never thought in a million years that I would you know leave my daughter in a different city without me this decision was beyond the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life and in all honesty honestly she is so ha I mean she's a happy child anyway but she is so happy and I feel like it was really selfish of me to take her away from her papa, her papa's partner's whanau, her papa's whanau, my whanau and her cousins and she just loves and adores her whanau so I didn't want to take her away from what she's known her whole life. Really. The decision was to leave her in Wellington with her papa um, and she was really happy with that decision too. I feel like it took her a while to understand what was actually happening but with lots of reassuring that this is what's happening and she was very understanding and um, the bonus is that she loves her kura so that you know was a real bonus but you know it hasn't been easy you know Shawnee's been there to pick up the pieces <laughs> um, after every FaceTime chat I've you know been bawling my eyes out but I think now it's been you know three months into it and she's you know she's more than happy to be where she is and 
and we're on FaceTime and she's like, yeah, 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 mum, yeah, yeah, where's Kawariki, you know, feel like I have to really get her to go, sit down, talk to me, me. But yeah, so I thought I'd clear that up and she is so happy where she is and I'm loving seeing her happy and I know I've made the right decision, so oh, hey. yeah, I thought, yeah, hey baby, hey, oh gosh, you do, would you, oh dear, we're talking about your sissy, mm. yeah, mm. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see you in Tanaki, ah, hey, oh, these, these, where's the burger, where's the burger? Ah, there he is. You better see it, game. We'll play it again for ages. Where's Kawariki? Where's Kawariki? Oh, dude. <laughs> game bird. Yeah. <laughs>